there has been a talk in Thika Town for it to become a city. Do you think Thika Town qualifies to become a city? What does it entail for a township or a municipality to become a city? One, it has to have at least a quarter a million people. Two, it has to have right infrastructure. And three, it has to collect or generate enough revenue for it to sustain its people. So, on your right, there is subscription there. You have to subscribe for this wonderful news. And number two, we have the notification bell for you to be the first one to be receiving this. Not forgetting, at the same time, you have to answer the question. Do you think Thika Town is ready to become a city just like Nakuru, Nairobi, Mombasa or Kisumu City? That's what we're asking you today. So down there is a comment box. Give your views. Let us know. That's how we do it today. So I'll be going to the streets and ask the Thikarians, do you think, are we ready to go see Philip McLeod, 3T TV? I'm John Thiongo. Uh -huh. It's a very good idea to have uh, Rika as a city uh -huh. uh, so that we can be able to manage ourselves better. Okay. Yes. So, to manage ourselves better, uh, Thika Town has a population over a half a million. That is 279 plus yes. people here. Yes. Uh, do you think we have the capacity to meet their requirements? Uh, we have uh, uh, enough uh, land. Uh -huh. We have enough resources yeah. uh, like water. Yes. Uh, so it's just upgrading some small, small things and we are good. We're good to go. Yes. And uh, we are just 30 minutes away from Nairobi city. Don't you think there's conflict of interest? Uh, well, one thing is uh, we would like to have our own town, our own city. Yeah. Because if we if we are joined with if we join with Nairobi, yes, we might find uh, we we don't have enough uh, well resources. Mm -hmm. uh, we can be uh, well absorbed yeah. by Nairobi, and uh, that will be a, be, a bit uh, struggle for us. Okay, so yes. assuming that uh, uh, we shall be becoming a city, and we have the challenges. You being born here, you know some of the challenges we face. What are some of them, and what are the solutions that you have? Well, yeah. the challenges are easy. Yeah. We have uh, leadership, yes. uh, which is actually taking things uh, the better way. Yes. And uh, well, I think we'll be good. All right. We're still finding to know whether Thika is large or big enough to become a city. And right again, I have a wonderful guest on the set and he is about to tell us who he is and does he allow it? Does he even think it can be? How are you, sir? I'm very fine. Uh, can you let us know your name, please? My name's are Joe Mwangi. Tom Mwangi. Joe Mwangi. Uh, not Tom Boyer. No, Joe Mwangi. Oh, Joe Mwangi. Yes. All right, all right, Mr. Joe Mwangi. Yes. How long have you been in Fika? Uh, since my since I was born here in Fika. Yeah. Brought up in Fika. Yes. Schooled in Fika. Yeah. My everything is just been in Fika. So Fika is in your fingertips. Very much. Wow. So what do you have to say about Fika becoming a city? As you know, before, before when we had the municipality, yes, Lika was the bang, bang, Birmingham of Kenya. Yeah, the Birmingham of Kenya. Yeah, because we had several industries. Yes, and even today, mm -hmm. there are very much many industries. Yeah. So Lika is capable. Yeah. It's an industrial town. An industrial town. Mm -hmm. It's capable to 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 become a city. Wow. So beyond having industries and and uh, the, the above threshold that is given 200 uh, uh, you know a, a quarter million people oh, yeah. what else do you think we have that can make it even much better okay we have the natural resources we have, we have a lot of water yes we have got two, two rivers right here yeah so provision of water in Vika yeah is it's enough river Chania and which one the other one the Fika river then Fika river yeah. All feeding thicker yeah. and feeding some of Nairobi, maybe. And, uh, and the the water to Nairobi. Yes. yes. So, what challenge do you pose to thickarians? Because you know, whoever much is given, much is expected. So, if we become a city, it means that things that are going to change. So, what challenge can you give to them so that if they even become a city, they can meet it? Okay. The only challenge I have in Thika mm -hmm. is that the CBD area. Yes. It's small. It's small. It's small. Because if you look down here. Mm -hmm. Just here, Bodeni. Mm -hmm. The other side is Bodengo. Mm -hmm. The other side is Chennai. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So they can have a plan to expand the city area. 
Okay. So that you can be able to have many, many commercial plots. Yes. Yeah, so expansion is the challenge. the challenge. If it's expanded, we're good to go. We, we are good to get it. Thank you so much for your views. Thank you. My name is Alfred. Yes. The chairman of the business community. Yes. And also a businessman here. Ish. Thank you. you are the father of all dollars in Fika. Correct. Business community. <laughs> yes. Well, I like that. I like that. Uh, we are asking you, what do you think about Fika being elevated from a town to a city status? That is the best news yeah. Fika people have ever had. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in Fika becoming a city, mm -hmm. uh, expansion will be a matter of automatic. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have what it takes mm -hmm. to be a city. We what what do we have? What do we have? We have enough population. Yes. We have infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We have the area, the land, mm -hmm. and we have a very fertile interland. Yeah. Interland, which is served by this this town. Yeah. So becoming a city, we even make our businesses thrive better. Yes. Get more investors. Yes. Get more cooperation with both national and international. Yes. And of course get more opportunities for our people yes. to do business. So what challenge do you pose to the Karians so that when we becoming a city, they be ready for it? In fact, uh, we we have almost 90-95% of what it takes, Yes. but uh, we need an interchange at Gatitu mm -hmm. for, to open to, to serve yes. smooth flow. And we need a new bridge, yes. to turn a bridge. Yes. When those are given, we I good. think we are good to go. We're good to go. We have the rest. Yes. And of course, we have the next Marimeno uh, water project. Yes. It's going to serve our Fika and its hinterland for the next 30 years. Yes. So we're good to go. Wow. Industries will be, we have enough water, we have enough electricity. Yes. We have enough ne road network. Mm -hmm. And we have the personnel. Yeah. So do you think, uh, you see, if we go to a city status, of course, the revenue collection will go higher, yes. Correct. But also the licensing and the business community will be affected because some of the expenses will shoot. What do you have for that? What, what solution do you have for that? You know, yes. when there's business and there's money, yes. you don't mind about the license. Yes. You, you know, you feel licenses are high because you don't have money. Yes. When you have money and you're doing business, yes. and there's a the flow of uh, money, yes. licensing will not be a problem. Yes. That is what comes with the, with the city. Yeah. Development. Okay. Yeah. So lastly, uh, we are seeing Nairobi is overflowing. It's full and people are coming to Nairobi to Thika, to Kiambu. Mm. And uh, maybe you have, uh, there's someone watching who is ready to come and invest in Thika. Mm. Talk to those people and tell them what they got to do and come and make this town better. Oh, yeah. we welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. If you're coming to invest, mm -hmm. if you're coming to do business, mm -hmm. Thika is the home for you. Mm -hmm. Kiambu is the best county mm -hmm. to do business. Mm -hmm. Because of its proximity to Nairobi, mm -hmm. proximity to infrastructure, the railway, mm -hmm. the railway station, mm -hmm. the uh, vehicular transport, mm -hmm. uh, labor, uh -huh. we have everything. Wow. So, yes. if you are there internationally, mm -hmm. we are welcoming international investors. Yes. Because these are the people who make our town become a city. Mm -hmm. Welcome. We have everything. Enough wow. water, enough electricity, mm -hmm. and enough qualified people. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of educated people here. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Yeah. So, we assure you that. Wh what's your parting shot to the Thikarians and every person at large? Let's go city. Yes, let's go city. Mr. Mm -hmm. Francis Wajwahi. Eh eh. Na mimi ni mkaaji wa Thika. Eh eh. Mm. Umekuwa Thika kwa muda upi? Nimekaa nimekaa Thika miaka 15. 15. Mm. Wow, that is long time. Sasa wewe unafikiria namna gani tunataka Thika itoke kuwa town ikuwe mji like city? What do you think? Mi ningesema inapaswa kuwa kuwa city mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya kwanza kuna watu wengi sana hapa Thika mm -hmm. na wakaaji wale wanakaa mji wa Thika ni wengi mm -hmm. na ni namba kubwa sana mm -hmm. na hii eneo imekuwa sana mm -hmm. imekuwa na viwanda imekuwa na na mambo mengi makubwa mm -hmm. so hii town inapaswa kuwa mji mm -hmm. kwa sababu naona iko na mambo mengi ambayo ina ina inaisababisha iwe iwe city. Mm -hmm. mm. Kando ya kuwa mji na, na viwanda na yale yote ambayo umenena, mm. je unafikiria ni changamoto gani ambazo tukikuwa mji ama tukakuona viwanda? Mimi ningesema ya kwanza ni kama sewerage system. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, hiyo ndio inapaswa kurekebishwa kidogo. Mm -hmm. Watu wanaongezeka na tunaona 
vile vitu zikuwa zimewekwa mbele mm -hmm. mitaro ile ilikuwa imechimbwa mm -hmm. ilikuwa midogo mm -hmm. lakini saa hii watu wamekuwa wengi mm -hmm. na population inakuwa kubwa mm -hmm. ah, so hiyo ikiangaliwa mm -hmm. sewerage system drainage mm -hmm. hiyo itasaidia mm -hmm. mm -hmm. haya umeshatuambia changamoto so ujumbe wako ni upi kwa wanabiashara wenzako kwa sababu tukiingia katika status ya mji pia mambo yatapanda biashara pia itapanda na eh, eh, ile ushuru ambayo tunalipa pia itapanda ni changamoto gani ungependa kuambia ndio wakuwe tayari kwa sababu ya hilo pia changamoto ni ya kwamba mm. tuki, tukifanyika kuwa muji kuna mambo mengi mm. itabadilika mm -hmm. kama biashara zingine ambazo zimewekwa mahara asi pazuri zinazuiria vitu kama barabara hivi mm -hmm. lazima zitaondolewa mm -hmm. na pia tunapaswa kuwa na fikira kubwa na maono makubwa mm -hmm. kwa sababu tukiwa muji mm -hmm. lazima tuinue biashara zetu kweli kabisa e, ili tuweze kupata faida kubwa Sir, hello unaitwa nani mimi naitwa Duncan Dwati Mr Duncan Dwati yes so tell us what do you think about Thika becoming a city that's a great idea actually mm -hmm. Thika should be a city already if you compare it with other cities that Ye are, yes. are there mm -hmm. i think they have already been made a city why uh, one of the it is an old town. Mm -hmm. It is um, as old as during the colonial time. Wow. So, uh, yeah, being, being a business town yeah. whereby it borders the up countries yeah. and Nairobi city, mm -hmm. then should be the next city. Talking about Nairobi city, don't you think this conflict of interest be, being closer to another city? No. Why? Actually, mm -hmm. uh, bearing in mind that Nairobi is the capital city yes. and being where politics is being done, yes. Thika should be made now city. Wow. Like in Nigeria, mm -hmm. we have uh, uh, where uh, cities where politics is done yeah. and other cities where business is done. So wow. The difference yes. is what should make Vika a city. Yes. Because people political turmoil can happen mm -hmm. so that they can secure their businesses. Wow, I like so, that. Yeah, so that enough, mm -hmm. that's enough to make Vika a city. And yes. bearing in mind it has good connectivity to railway yes uh, good connectivity to the super highway wow uh, many businesses coming up mm -hmm. uh, and expanding residential areas mm -hmm. so that's enough to make it a city you, you say we got it all we got it yeah, all we, we can do this yeah so do you think that uh, we are able enough to cater for the challenges that will come with a city status yes uh, if you look at uh, a city status mm -hmm. we have to have a good network of roads yes we have to have good residential areas mm -hmm. we have to have a uh, good status hotels yes we have to have a uh, good status um, buildings mm -hmm. and Vika has all that Wow yeah if you look at even the the water connectivity yes for a long time Vika has been known to be the most beautiful town yeah the most cleanest the cleanest town Birmingham of Birmingham of, of Kenya, Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with hotels we have hotels that are already are three star yeah so we can have Vika as a city so what is your parting shot my parting shot is uh, the politicians and our leaders yes should up the game yeah to make sure that they restore Vika to where it was mm -hmm. in terms of cleanliness yes in terms of uh, uh, water connectivity yeah in terms of um, Way, yes, they should be able to approach the national government to make Thika a city. So, person Wamogonda, where do you see your uh, Thika town in the maybe next three years, five years? Where uh, do you th see it? It will be more than Nairobi city. For real? Yeah, yeah. So, talking of Nairobi city, uh, Thika is not far away from Nairobi. Yeah. And uh, do you think there's conflict of interest if uh, Thika became a city and we also have Nairobi city just next to us? No. It will be more developed mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. it applies to the and to the outside country. Mm -hmm. For instance, if I tell you, mm -hmm. he or she will be proud to say, I'm in, in a city. I'm in a city. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Wow. So, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Joseph Moirori. Joseph Moirori. Mm -hmm. Joseph Moirori. Tuko na swala nye leo, nye swala ku. Unafikia tika hiko tayari kwa mji. For example, we infrastructure. Infrastructure to the 
mchafu mwingi si wa system bado imekuwa na shida hii drainage system katika mji wetu imekuwa mbaya ukitetemka katika hizi barabara zetu za kwenda katika bahari tunakaa maji pia zikumejama zimejama chimo ehe pingine ni giza giza kwa sababu huku kumekuwa na stima zimekuwa vandalized giza uwezi toka pande moja ukifika pande ile nyingine lakini zile mambo ambazo zilifanyika katika mji wa Naikuru ndio iweze kukubarika kuwa city hata hapa tunazotaka kufanyike hiyo tena tangu yetu ile city okay watengenezee barabara waziweke rami si wa system watengeneze hizi tu ndio zetu watengeneze hii mataya mji wetu watengeneze warekebishe na zile kuri ambao hakuna waweke hata kama kutakuwa na negativity kidogo kwa sababu labda hizi barua zetu za biashara zinaweza kupanda kidogo lakini tukiangalia kana negative kidogo kama hapo lakini positivity ndio zinaweza kuwa mingi sana kwa sababu mji uko wa city pia unakuanga msana kweli kabisa nakumbuka wakati nikoja hapa Vika kuna wakati hii mji wetu ilivotiwa kuwa the cleanest city not only in Kenya but in eastern central Africa wow lakini ukaendelea pole 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 siasa za mji zikakuwa mingi mji ukaanza kuwa mchafu kwa wakati huu taoni yetu ya Vika inakuanga 60% inakuanga haina sio system 60% so only 40% ambayo inakuanga imesaliwa na siwa lakini thank god kwa sababu juzi juzi katika maendeleo zingine kama kule kule itaithie wametengenezewa siwa kule kiganja wametengenezewa siwa na zikiunganishwa na mna hii tuwe tuseme kama tuwe kama 70% tuna tuko na na matumizi ya siwa ama services za siwa tumepata tutashukuru wow yes mimi nafurahia kusikia hiyo sasa ujue tukiwa mji tukienda hiyo status ya mji mambo yatapanda kidogo mambo yatapanda unajua hiyo mambo yatapanda kwa hivyo we uko tayari kwa hayo barua itapanda kidogo hata tuseme hata hizi mambo zinaitangwa tutazama ukinunua plot kuna kile kitu kinaitangwa user kuna change of user yes hiyo mabarua ya change of user tunajua inaweza panda tu kwa sababu sasa tumetoka kutoka kwa municipality mhm kwa city lakini hata hiyo ikipanda kuna benefit mingi ambazo tunapata tunaweza panda kuliko hizo kuliko hizo changamoto changamoto ambazo zinaweza kupatikana ni jambo lipi la mwisho ungependa kuambia wanafika ili waweze kukubaliana na wewe security haiwezi patikana tukiwa kwa visa lakini security tukiwekewa mataa tusema mji wetu wa Zika uwekwe mataa security ikikuja mji wetu urudie ile hadhi yake ya zamani the one of the most ile tukua naita Birmingham Birmingham of Kenya alafu tuwe na usafi vile tukikuwa mataa iwe barabara zetu ziwe vile ziko kwa wakati huu hizi drainage system zinatengenezwa kwa wakati huu ziwe ziko sawa zile zile changamoto tutapata kwa kupandishiwa hizo barua zitakuwa tutazisahau kweli kabisa alafu kuwe na security rudi sasa wow all right as young people of thika town we are giving our views do we think thika is ready to become a city On set, I have a beautiful lady. She gonna tell us her name. Unaitwa nani? My name is Phyllis Wanjiko. Uh -huh. I live here in Vika. How long have you been living here? Like five years. Five years. Uh -huh. The whole government has been there. You've been living here. Uh -huh. So do you think Thika is ready to become a city? Yes. Why? Because, mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. there are many industries here mm -hmm. in Vika. We have very many industries I here like in Vika. Mm -hmm. Plus, When you look at the construction of the roads, mm -hmm. they are very well constructed. Mm -hmm. Plus Victoria. Oh, you are Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm Philip McLeod from 3T TV. Mm -hmm. So we are asking you today, mm -hmm. do you think Thika is ready to become a city? Yeah, I think. Okay, why? Because yes, we call it a small town. Mm -hmm. But actually it's not that small town mm -hmm. because we are doing a lot of business here. Mm -hmm. Like If you look at Nairobi and Thika, mm -hmm. the businesses that they are doing, there's no difference with that. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's just a sphere of that small area. Mm -hmm. But it can come a town. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So if you think Thika can become a town and we are just close to Nairobi, yeah. don't you think there's a conflict of interest? Like having two cities too close? No, there is no conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. As long as everyone, everyone is doing his own business, mm -hmm. And they are gaining their interest. Mm -hmm. Nothing that is coming to be any with any conflict of interest. Okay. Yeah. So, what would you like to tell the thicker people about 
as becoming a city, what should they be ready for as a young person? As a young person, I can tell you. Mm. Anything. You can just just say that they just keep up. Mm -hmm. They go on. Oh, they go on with their their businesses. Mm -hmm. Never mind about Nairobi. Mm -hmm. All I can say is that. Yeah. Good yeah. sana. Kutoka kwa boda boda industry. Maoni yako ni yepi kwa kwamba fika yeze kukuwa yeze kukuwa mji. Wewe una kubaliana mo na pinga na ni panini. Mina kubaliana. Uh huh. Sababu fika one thing iko karibu na. The next uh, city ni Nairobi. Uh -huh. Another thing, uh, ukiangalia upande wa industry. Uh -huh. uh, Dika ikona ikona uh, much of the uh, of the products uh, most of the products uh, ziri ambazo tunatumia. Mm -hmm. Ingiza kesi natoka hapa Dika mm -hmm. uh, countrywide. Ingiza kesi natoka Dika. Uh -huh. Dika has so many industries. Mm -hmm. Inaonekana kana ata nyumba zina 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 kuwa sana. Mm -hmm. Another thing, um, thing about Dika is that uh, it's not easy. It's not a population. To get a city, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Even uh, those, uh, those, um, those services that we, we, we go to get in Nairobi, it's not easy. Yeah. We're going to, to the city. Vitu, vitu vingi, vikaribie, vikaribie, vitu mm -hmm. vingi, so many of the services that we go to the national government, mm -hmm. vita karibia hapa. It is a town hosting about a quarter a million people and they are so gracious and ready to become a city. So the question is, are you ready, Thika, to become a city? On your right, we have subscribed. Press that button and you'll be the first one to have our re uh, every episode that we upload and not forgetting notification bell. But be gracious enough, every time we do this, share, share, share widely. Make sure every thicker person and all the international community are receiving it from the heart of the thicker town. My name is Philip McLeod. Till next time.